Hey everyone, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Nerf Zombie Strike Crosscut. This is a pistol style drawback blaster. It comes with four darts and its main feature is a foam rotating blade. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. All right, so as you can see here, it's an open face style blaster. You can see it's just held in there. Um, it's actually got this lower trigger right there and a higher one. That's going to be used for the main blaster. And then this runs the saw blade. As you can see here, it also says it comes with four of the elite darts, or actually the zombie strike ones. And if we take a look at the back, you can see a little diagram of the blaster. It tells you about the spinning saw blade, how to insert the darts in prime, as well as to fire. So sometimes you would use this blaster is in a close quarters type of deal. If someone's coming up to you and you just it makes no sense to shoot them, you just hit them with the saw blade or run it right through them. It could definitely make for some more fun wars. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box. So as you can see, it is two um, just twist ties that you can cut. And then you can just take out the blaster, like so. Let's cut open the tape on the sides here. And then you can unfold this. And here are your darts underneath, as well as an instruction manual. All right, that's it for the box. Okay, so now for the features of the cross cut. As you can see, it's featured in green with the Zombie Strike logo there. You have what looks like a red monkey wrench on the side. That's very cool. Like I already said, you have the two triggers, the main one to fire the darts, and this other one to drive, which spins the foam saw blade. On the handle, you have the classic Zombie Strike tape wrapped around. It, fake, obviously. The priming bar actually has two holes. I don't know why, but I mean, that's... It's kind of cool, I guess. It's a really long prime, which should be some good performance. It's got one tactical rail on top for adding any attachments you want. On the other side, it looks quite different. You have a saw blade with a bunch of warnings on it. No fancy details or graphics. Um, so we'll just look at this side. In the front, you can see there's actually two barrels. So you can, out of your four darts that you get, you can store two in at once and then fire one and fire the other. It doesn't work like a barrel break where you can put in the both and then fire each one with one uh, prime. You have to prime it and then shoot one and then shoot another. Like something of a triad. Okay, so let's load up this thing and see how it fires. Alright, so we're actually just going to be firing at this target down range. It's like 10 feet away. And I have the other two darts in my pocket because there's actually no other spots on this blaster to store the darts. Let's go ahead, take some shots. I'm pretty sure first... Yeah, so the first one it fires is the top and then the bottom, and if you only put in one, it has the smart barrel system, so it can tell which one is in, and it'll shoot that barrel. Alright, so let's go ahead and shoot. I've never actually done an accuracy test, so this is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Well, that sucks. So, I don't know if you guys saw, when I was shooting the first dart, the second one actually came out of the barrel with it. That may just might have been because it wasn't pushed in far enough, but that really sucks. Let's see if it happens again. That's so weird. When I put in two darts and I go to shoot, one of them shoots really far and the other one just kind of falls. That really sucks and there's no way of fixing that. I'm not sure what the cross cut's supposed to do. That's a little weird that mine did that. All right, so I just read the instructions and it actually does say that it should be firing one at a time. The fact that every single time I have put in the top one, the bottom one comes out, That's um, that means that this one just, this. This blaster specifically has a like a flaw to it. That kind of happens with a lot of people's rough cuts. If you guys remember the under pump style shotgun, it had the smart AR and a lot of the bottom darts would fall out. So it's doing that on this, which is pretty weird. The saw is pretty cool. It's a nice dense foam. It shouldn't break too bad. And it gets spinning really fast, really easily. It actually has no distance reach on it. So you'd have to like go downwards. And if you're spinning it, as soon as you hit someone, it stops. It's, it's a cool novelty, but other than that, this blaster has nothing really new. I mean, the fact that mine's broken kind of sucks, but there's not too much upgradability. It's kind of just a small pistol that is a little too large because of this saw blade. It's a cool idea, and it would certainly be fun to play around with, especially if you're in a war that likes melees and accepts them. But just for a pistol, I would stick to something smaller with just the same amount of power in it like a jolt or a triad. Let me know what you guys thought about this blaster in the comments below. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I have new videos every single Saturday. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and as always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.